sorry, also served uh, as an associate director of the Center for Telecommunications Research. Uh, he is a founder of the Israel Bl Brain Technologies, which is a nonprofit organization uh, promoting brain technologies uh, in Israel. He has uh, founded several uh, companies uh, in the past uh, in fields that in multiple disciplines such as telecommunications, nanotechnology, neurotechnology, and clean tech, which is a new word I learned recently, and, uh, and most notably uh, Chromatis, which networks which I'm sure you all know of. Um, and he's currently uh, an angel investor in technology for various uh, startup companies. And uh, the title of his talk is Brain Inspired Computing. Okay, I'm completely wired now. Okay, so let's see if uh, we can wake ourselves uh, up uh, in this late afternoon with a little quiz. And I have two questions for you, for those who didn't see the uh, written sentence in the, uh, at the bottom. One, uh, who is this lady? And two, how is she related to memory stores? Anybody? Okay, good. Uh, Computer, last message received and recorded from Captain Kirk. In place. Run it through analyzer. Question, is it or is it not the captain's voice? Negative. All close, copy. A voice duplicator. 98% probability. So uh, her name is uh, Majel, and she is actually the voice uh, of the uh, starship. Um, and uh, not surprisingly, uh, Google just recently announced a new service, a voice service uh, called Majel after her name. And um, I was really excited about it, and I went uh, to, to check how this uh, voice uh, recognition system works. In fact, I, didn't, uh, I wasn't able to, to get hold of it. It was only in beta, so I used the uh, old, uh, old Google uh, search voice, and uh, I went and uh, you know, talked and to, to the machine, to my uh, PDA, and told him to uh, try to look for myself, Rafi Gidron. Uh, kind of uh, uh, went to the cloud uh, to, to get the result, and after a while it uh, came back with uh, uh, Rafi Gidron, or I'm sorry, with uh, my question was Rafi Gidron, and the response was likes blondes. So I said, uh, wow, this is cool. Now the, uh, I understand that uh, Eric Schmidt, the chairman uh, of uh, Google Vision, actually came through and uh, the computer and the voice recognition system went beyond voice recognition. It actually knows my intentions and my wishes. Uh, the fact is that it really doesn't work yet. Um, and this holds true to other pattern recognitions. Uh, this is another application, also Google. Uh, and uh, what they do to keep uh, privacy, they recognize automatically uh, people and uh, kind of blur their uh, faces. And as you can see, it also blurs the face on the, uh, on the poster there. Uh, also, if you take a closer look, you'll see that some of the wheels are also blurred because it recognizes it as, as faces. So the question is why those algorithms don't really work. And uh, when I, uh, when I uh, uh, was a PhD student uh, about 20 years ago, the promise was, you know, every two years the computing power will double, triple, uh, more slow, and uh, you know, 20 years passed, and, and the things is not really working yet, uh, and maybe we are even getting close to the end of Moore's law, uh, some people say. 
Uh, not only doesn't it work, but uh, it consumes those uh, pattern recognition, voice recognition systems, consumes lots of power. Uh, in fact, we did uh, back of the envelope calculation on a Siri application and figure that uh, if you run, if 20% of uh, iPhone users access Siri, which is uh, Apple voice recognition system at the same time, the power consumption is more than the total power, cons power consumption of in Israel, okay? So that's a lot. Um, at the same time, while computers uh, don't perform this uh, very well, uh, we have uh, a little box or machine between our two ears that is really doing very good with those type of, uh, of activities of pattern recognition. Yes, it doesn't do very well with the computation, but with 20 watt of 20 watt of consumption, it does excellent pattern recognition, very low power uh, uh, consumption, and um, it does that uh, being very robust to uh, variation in the picture, in the images, low, uh, in, in a very noisy environment. And the question is, can we take some of the ideas from uh, the brain and apply them to computers or to computing systems and, and uh, actually do better at those type of, uh, of uh, uh, activities? And uh, since I'm not a brain scientist, luckily there were a lot of people before me that talked about how the brain works. But, you know, some of the ideas that uh, have been talked a lot about is the huge connectivity, the very, uh, the parallelism of activity, and the small operation or the very uh, slow operation uh, of, of the brain compared to our standard uh, computers. And, and those are ideas have been uh, going into some algorithms that have been uh, developed uh, about uh, 25 years ago um, uh, in, 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 the, uh, um, in the artificial uh, intelligence uh, uh, environment or, or in academia. And the idea was, okay, but let's take the, uh, uh, the neuron and the synapse and emulate them through a system that uh, looks something like that, an integrator of uh, multiple signals. Each one will have different weight. And once you put that in a network, you can do some calculations. Um, in recent years, uh, those algorithms uh, have been improved. There are some uh, uh, deep belief algorithm uh, and, and uh, other like uh, Jeff Hawkins algorithms that um, are performing better, but still when you look at the time it takes to uh, uh, run them on standard computers, uh, it's huge. Um, you know, this is a recent paper that uh, tries to do some uh, uh, image recognition and the learning time on, on 10 million examples with a standard CPU uh, took them 19 days uh, to run. Um, and uh, when they ran it on a GPU, it took uh, one day and six hours, and they consider it a great breakthrough. The question is, can we do better if we take some of the ideas of, uh, uh, from memory stores? And, um, the analogy between uh, the, the memory stores and uh, the signups uh, was made uh, in earlier talks, and um, I, I believe that if we, we are able to, we, we, if we can take those those analogy and analogies and and uh, and uh, apply them into computer architectures based on memory stores, we can achieve really uh, good uh, performance and results. In fact, uh, at least on the theoretical level, this has been done uh, in few cases. Um, this is one example where a network of memory stores um, was simulated and uh, was applied to solving uh, a massively uh, parallel uh, problem of a maze, uh, finding a way in a maze. And, uh, Recognition that uh, memory stores or brain-inspired computers have been have uh, a great promise uh, um, has been applied in, in few cases. Uh, Synapse is one uh, one project of uh, DARPA that is uh, trying to take those ideas and, and apply them. Um, 
I have to say that those examples are actually not MEM resource based, but there are some, uh, some uh, standard uh, processor based or standard uh, logic based, but still they're taking some of the ideas of uh, neural network, artificial neural networks, uh, and going towards MEM resource type of uh, co connection uh, that will, will do actual computation. Um, the the, uh, the potential of, of uh, this uh, area of brain-inspired computers uh, have not escaped our uh, uh, president, and, and uh, uh, about a year ago, uh, he uh, kind of uh, helped me establish Israel Brain Technologies, uh, which is a nonprofit organization, and our objective is to advance uh, brain technologies in Israel. In Israel, and one of the areas that uh, we are trying to uh, push forward is uh, brain-inspired computing. We have uh, established a small group. Some of you here in this room are part of it. And uh, I believe that uh, he, Israel has a great potential here um, to, to make uh, great progress and breakthroughs, uh, considering the fact that uh, we have uh, uh, adjacent areas of science that uh, will support development uh, in, in this uh, area, uh, in, the, in the areas of uh, fields of neuro, uh, uh, microelectronics, and others. Uh, thank you.